What you been doing for FFA week, if you would? Okay, um, we've tried to, uh, one morning, yesterday morning, we fixed breakfast for the teachers and faculty. Uh, we've had some different dress-up days. Um, we had a camouflage day. Um, we're having uh, show days, so if they were showing livestock at the county fair or something, they'd wear that today, or college uh, apparel days tomorrow. Um, so we've had some things like that. We had, uh, we served pizza for the high school. Uh, FFA members on Tuesday, and actually with the Montgomery County uh, Farm Bureau uh, Young Farmers Group, they came in and uh, actually bought the pizza for them, and then they talked to them a little bit about opportunities for, for their group. Uh, they can even be at it while they're in high school, and then after they graduate, they can be part of that group if they wanted to. And then we served um, pizza for the junior high members yesterday uh, over there, so it's been kind of a hit and miss kind of deal was with the weather and cancellations and delays and stuff. But we had driver tractor today was uh, Wednesday, no Tuesday, because Wednesday we had the breakfast. And then we couldn't do it Thursday and Friday. We usually do it toward the end of the week, but then mm -hmm. with finals, mm -hmm. then we had to move that up. So we've switched things around two or three times just uh, of the weather situations and stuff. But um, And then after school tomorrow, we go to Trafalgar. Uh, we've rented the fellowship center there for overnight, so we're taking, uh, last count I think we had 22 um, members going, and they're going to work on the chapter leadership uh, contest. They're going to be they're gonna be at McCutcheon on uh, March the 8th, and that would include the parliamentary procedure team to you know, practice running a meeting, and then also there'll be people working on demonstrations and uh, I don't think anybody's given a prepared speech, but we have people that are doing the extemporaneous speaking contest. We're going to practice that, the job interview contest. Uh, there's about four or five different demonstration areas from mechanics to horticulture to plant soil science. I think one of them's doing one on. So uh, there's plenty of things for them to be involved in. That's coming up here pretty quick. So uh, we haven't had a lot of practice time on that. Um, so we're going to do some of that while we're down there. But it's fun that. Uh, they like being down there at the center, and we'll have we'll be the only ones there, kind of have the whole building to ourselves, and then uh, we'll take our own food and kind of have some bonding time too. So, cool. Uh, and then we'll come back Saturday afternoon. Now, and, uh, you have the uh, week. you do crop judging and everything in the fall. Yes. Well, it's supposed <clears> to be in the fall. Uh, another uh, kind of a uh, weather story, but it's supposed to be like December fourteenth. And then they moved it to, I think it was January 11th or something, and then we had to move it again because that was bad weather. And then we moved it to January 25th, uh, which was still kind of bad weather, but they said there's really no other days because uh, the spring activities get going. And right. they said, we're going to have to have it today. Anybody that can get there, use your own judgment on travel and stuff, uh, come. So the numbers were down, but we still uh, had really good scores even compared to last year. I mean, we... I think we've still been in good shape, but we got three teams in the top four in the high school. We had first, second, and fourth in the high school division, and then in, and and we only had uh, three teams that qualified for that. And we had two teams that qualified for the junior division, and we were able to get first and second in that. Cool. So uh, that's the first time that we've ever been first and second in in the high school. Plus, and then having both divisions first and second at the state uh, was pretty exciting. Even though the numbers were lower, I still think. Uh, we had a good chance of doing doing that well, even uh, if everybody would have been there. Mm -hmm. At least I like to think of that because we were able to win. Actually, we were able to win both the high school and junior high divisions last year, and we had a lot of the same uh, students back. So I think we've still been really competitive if everybody would have been able to make it. But um, so that was our 24th high school championship wow. uh, in crop judging, and I've been here 35 years. So. Uh, then in that time period, we've also been second uh, nine times. So between the 24 and the nine, then we had a pretty good record in the last 35 years uh, in the state level on the crop shedding. So I was happy to see that they could continue that tradition. Absolutely. And, um, but yeah, it's kind of old news because it should have been in December, but we're actually, it's only, you know, been about three weeks ago when we did that. So, um, thing. And then we won um, seven proficiencies. That's where they take their SAE program which was their, is their supervised agriculture experience program, and they keep records on it throughout the year, and some of them have livestock, or some of them work uh, for another farmer or for an ag business, or something they keep records and skills that they learned and things like that. And we entered seven district uh, 
entries, different contests, and that we won all seven of those, and they've qualified on to state. So um, numbers were down a little bit from normal as far as number that we got finished up, but again, we were so far behind on days missed, so it was hard to get uh, uh, all those completed. Um, and then we have some previous winners. If they've won the district before, they can go ahead and enter state competition again. So we'll have these seven plus probably at least another seven that had won last year that can still participate and do that. And uh, our state degrees are due tomorrow, applications. And so we've got one person working on that. Uh, she's got everything finished, I believe. So I just need to go through and check it and make sure we haven't made any mistakes. And then we'll have to mail that in tomorrow before we go to Trafalgar. Now, what's the state degree? That's the highest degree you can get in the state level. The state uh, reviews the application, and if you meet all, all the guidelines, then um, they'll go ahead and confer that. The chapter can confer the um, green hand degree and the chapter degree on the local level, and then you have to turn it into the state to get to the, the state degree. So if they approve that, you can get that at the state convention, which will be in June at Purdue. And then the highest degree you can get is um, the American degree, and that's uh, presented at the National FFA Convention if they receive that. And I think we have one person that's working on that. That's not due till April. So we have one person. That's Where's that convention that. at this year? This year it's going to still be in Louisville. They had it in Indianapolis for uh, the last seven years, and then they moved to Louisville. I believe they're just going to be there three years. Then it's going to rotate to Indianapolis for three years and then back to Louisville for three years. So they're going to get some kind of rotation going between the two cities for that but we'll okay. be back in Louisville this year cool okay. and hopefully our crops team uh, has qualified now to be in the national contest and so we're going to try we get seniors and so we're going to try to enter that at the national uh, convention next uh, October wow that's excellent so, excellent so it's really been